Lucas Media. So Young Buck and 50 Cent are, are going back and forth. It says, um, I'm looking at all hip hop. Young Buck denies on 50 Cent 250,000, tries ducking payment and bankruptcy. Saying that the issue goes back all the way to 2014. Um, and where 50 Cent basically said that Young Buck didn't fulfill his contract with G Unit, thus owing money to the label. Young Buck denied it. Young Buck got his legal, his legal team. And um, 50 Cent basically trying to get $250,000 out of uh, Young Buck. Now, everybody knows Young Buck, he's had, you know, troubles. He was a dope artist. Uh, I haven't heard his music in a long time. But, you know, growing up, of course, I listened to Buck, the whole G unit. Honestly, is 50 Cent petty a lot? Yeah. But, I mean, if he if he feel like Young Buck on 250 he gonna have to get that up you know what i'm saying or they gonna have to keep going to court and 50 did say he pay a million dollars a year for lawyers so he ain't got nothing but time and to sue people and take them to court anyway if i'm spending a million dollars let's let's go to court anyway right um when it comes to young buck i don't really know what happened on both sides but i do remember that that leak audio back in the day where buck had talked about how he had spent all his money and um 50 had gave him a loan and all of that ah if i was buck i would figure out what we got to do i mean if i'm still legally obligated to you can i put out music or you know what i'm saying do i gotta liquidate some more things what what i gotta do but i let me get off the label and if i'm 50 cent i'm coming to buck like look man we don't get along no more and we ain't gonna ever be cool and i know i want my money so what you want to do and a lot of times it's, it's just miscommunication but i mean buck i mean nothing, nothing, it's business right you know how they say the pen is more powerful than the sword when you sign that contract think of look about dr dre and um when all the nwa people signed the contract with uh easy and, and jerry crazy contracts you know, or you hear all these artists all the time coming out and saying, you know, they didn't get paid from this album or this album or, you know, the label didn't shelve them and then they won't be released. Then the locks, the locks had a free lot, free the locks campaign back in the day. I remember that when they were trying to get off bad boy. And uh, what was his name? Chopper. Y'all remember Chopper from making a band? He said he had to pay uh, Diddy a half a million dollars to get off the label. You know? So, I don't know, Bucket, come down to business, man. You know what I'm saying? But y'all should be able to work that out. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. What y'all think?